So you wanna go from zero to getting 100 subscribers per day on your gaming channel. Well, this video is gonna reveal some of the best strategies I've used to get channels to do this. It's not exactly 100 subscribers per day, but if you take the overall number of subscribers this channel gains in the 31 day period, you'll see on average, it did get 100 subscribers per day. This one's a little bit less consistent than the previous one, but you can see again, on average, this channel has been gaining about 120 subscribers per day. So how do you go from zero to the point where like this channel, for example, you're getting 100 to 125 subscribers per day on average? Well, this video will show you how, but first you're probably making a massive mistake that stops you from getting subscribers and will give all of the strategies you learn in this video a snowball chance in hell of actually working if you don't correct it. Let me explain. There's a stat you probably can't find in your analytics dashboard called subscriber rate. Subscriber rate is the percentage of people who actually subscribe to your channel after viewing one of your videos. If I was to roughly estimate subscriber rate for gaming channels, I'd say roughly between 0.05% to 1.5% of viewers who watch your long form content will subscribe. So for example, on this channel, you can see within the period we've selected, you got 569,000 views and 3,700 subscribers. So to find your subscriber rate, all you have to do is take the subscribers you get in a certain period, so say 3,700 in this channel's case, and then divide that by the number of views that channel got in that certain period. So 569600 zero, zero in this channel's case. So the subscribe rate of this channel, if you move the decimal point two places to the right to make it a percentage, is 0.64. So on this channel, for example, you need to get about 200 views to get one subscriber. However, as we talked about, not all channels have the same subscribe rate. So if we check out this channel, we can see it got 3,100 subscribers, but only 228,000 views. So if we do the math on this one, we can see the subscribe rate on this channel is 1.3%, which is a little over double the subscribe rate of this particular channel. Now 0.64%, 1.3%, they might not seem to be big numbers or big differences. But for example, if this channel with a higher subscribe rate had gotten the same amount of views as this channel, we can do the math and what we'll find is that this channel would have gotten a bit over 200 subscribers per day. So in other words, if you increase your subscribe rate, you'll get more subscribers from the same amount of views. So I'm gonna give you three steps to getting more consistent exposure and views so that you can grow your game channel to the point where it's getting 100 or more subscribers per day. But real quick, before we dive into that, you wanna do at least the following three things as a bare minimum, which will maximize your subscribe rate, which will mean you'll get more subscribers from the same amount of views. First is your channel page. A lot of people, supposedly up to 40%, will actually check out your channel homepage before they subscribe. So just try to make sure it doesn't look like an ugly ghost town. Another thing is focus on making your fundamental content better, your videos and your thumbnails. Not all videos are created equal, we all know this. And if your videos are about as fun to watch as sitting in four hours of traffic, then obviously you're gonna have a much, much lower subscribe rate than it could be because people aren't gonna wanna stick around and watch any more of your videos. Lastly, another simple thing you can do is to make your main call to action to be subscribed. So a call to action is the part in your video where you ask someone to do something. Every video should have one call to action. If your biggest goal right now is to get subscribers, which I'm assuming it is given you clicked on this video, then your call to action should be asking people to subscribe to your channel, usually at the end of your video. And by asking people to subscribe, that's gonna make that action more top of mind and making it more likely that people will do it. So once you've made your channel and videos as subscribable as possible, let's talk about generating enough exposure to get 100 subscribers per day. The first is I'll consider focusing on creating evergreen search-based content. Here's what I mean by that. So there are two main ways that your videos will get views. One is by YouTube recommending those videos out to people on their home pages or recommended sidebars, and then they click on those videos. And then the other way is by viewers actively searching for something in the YouTube search bar and then finding your video that way. Now, having YouTube actively promote your video to viewers' home pages and recommended bars is without a doubt the fastest way to create videos that quote unquote blow up and go viral. But given you clicked on this video about how to get 100 subscribers per day. My guess is that you probably value consistency. See, sometimes while videos that get recommended by the YouTube algorithm might get a huge amount of views, channels where YouTube recommending their content is the main way they get views tend to be less consistent on a day-to-day -day basis. For example, if you compare this channel that has a lot of search-based content, aka a lot of these videos are designed so that people will find it in YouTube search, you can see that the graph is a lot more stable and consistent compared to this channel, which gets most of its views from YouTube 
YouTube actively recommending its videos and you can see that it's a bit less consistent where you know it's still got a hundred subscribers plus per day but on some days it was getting you know 70 50 40 and then on other days it was getting 140 300 460 etc etc so if I was growing a channel trying to get a hundred subscribers consistently per day I'd be trying to look for videos that aren't based around a particular trend that's just gonna die off in a week's time in other words they're evergreen and they're also the kind of video that a lot of people will be actively looking for and searching for on YouTube how to videos and tutorials for common problems that people have in their game can be a good example of evergreen search based content the second strategy I want to give you is to think about collaborations if you can frequently collaborate with other creators and get exposure to their audiences it's a great way to start driving more traffic back to your channel regardless of whether you're being found in search or the algorithm is recommending your videos or not if you organize your schedule and systemize it so you're consistently collaborating with one to two youtubers per week and getting exposure to their audiences you're going to be generating a consistent stream of new eyeballs and views on your content, which as we talked about results in subscribers, assuming your content's any good. There are two things people are often concerned about when it comes to collaborations though. The first one is that it can take a lot of effort to get out there and specifically collaborate with different YouTubers on a frequent basis. And my advice here is you don't have to create a completely new style or type of video when you go and collaborate with a new creator. You can simply create the same type of content that you always create and just find a way to creatively integrate them within in that piece of content. That way you're only putting in an extra 10 to 20% more work into videos that you were already going to create anyway, yet you're now getting exposed to a whole other creator's audience as well. The other objection creators often have is that no one will want to collaborate with them, especially not large YouTubers, which is where all the gold is, of course. And what I say here is think about it in terms of a value exchange. Sure, you might be a small creator who can't provide your collaboration partner with as much exposure as they can provide you with, but how can can you add value to them so that the situation is a win-win? An example of this is maybe you could put a ton of time and effort and research into a video idea you think is going to do well, collaborate with a larger YouTuber to create that video idea, then you do all of the editing for both your video and their video, and then you guys both upload the videos on each other's channels. That way you'll be getting a bunch of exposure from this much larger creator's audience, and the much larger creator is getting a new video that they can post that's going to get them views and subscribers, and literally all they have to do show up, record with you for a little bit, and then you'll do all of the other work. You get exposure and subscribers, they save time and get extra views and subscribers too. It's a win-win. Now, the last strategy I would recommend is becoming a part of the community and then promoting within there. Now, like collaborations, it's something that you can do very intentionally and strategically, and it's also something that can guarantee that your content is put in front of more people, regardless of whether the YouTube algorithm is organically promoting you or not. It's an extremely subtle and often overlooked technique, but it's really powerful. In fact, so powerful that I dedicated an entire video to it. So instead of me trying to explain it to you here, click the video on screen now. It's gonna go over exactly what becoming a part of the community is in detail and it's got some really powerful tactics. Check it out.